Hello, and welcome to the family of different, different people. Now hit that subscribe button right there and join the family of people who are different. Check this out. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fight. What's going on? What's going on? It's a day of another day of another day that we call. Yippee yay, it's Saturday. Anybody been said what's gonna be boo well and give you an update in reference to um the of course you know we talked about this before in reference to um Zeke Smith that was outed as a trans man on Survivor Show and now Caitlyn Jenner has joined in to show her support in reference to one of the trans brothers out here that was out as far as being in community. Check this out. Caitlyn Jenner praises Keek Zeke Smith after outed as a transgender on Survivor. Now Zeke Smith and Caitlyn Jenner in his corner after Vaughn Jeff Varner out of the asset manager as a transgender on Wednesday Survivor, the I Am Kate star, 67 years old, treated her support for Smith. Zeke Smith being trans in public eye is no joke, but you did good, buddy, she wrote. You made us proud. Jenner, who revealed on an interview with the Dinosaur in 2015 that she identified as a woman, would be transitioning from male to female, also linked to Smith open up about the... Um, Hollywood Reporter, while he admitted that he was not wild about people knowing that he was trans, but a person's gender history is private information, and it is not up to them or only when, how, on on whom they choose to disclose the information to. He wrote, the only people who needed to know are medical professionals and naked in front of me friends. While Smith says that he forgot, he forgiven, um, Jeff Varner for um, the way he made him feel in the statement is that the tribal council and vote out of, you know, most stereotypes of transgender people, a stereotype that often used as excuse for violence or even murder. And proclaiming Zeke is not the guy you think he is and that he is a deception on a level y'all don't know. Varner is saying that I am not really a man and that's simply living as my my authentic self and in a um trick he wrote in reality by zeke the dude i am being the most honest self as is every one of the transgender person going in, on their daily lives now he went to talk to entertainment tonight he op was overwhelmingly apologetic about smith on the show and i'm I make zero excuses and I find myself none on he says that it was horrible, it was uh, responsible, it was irresponsible. And I can only say in the mistake that I'm profoundly sorry that I will move forward and I will change so much. Is what he's saying now to Zeke Smith um, from Survivor. Okay, you see that? Well, good luck to you, Zeke. It seems like everybody's on board as far as supporting you and, you know, standing in your corner and looking out for you. And hopefully you're going to get a lot of accolades and stuff like that as far as, you know, the word gets out as far as being trans because you never know who's trans. And, you know, the thing about it is that we should live in a world where it's live and let live. And it shouldn't be an issue as far as he was living his truth and his authentic self. And somewhere along the line, um, he trusted um, Warner, which basically out of him. Now, I was not aware that Warner was a gay guy. I did some of the researches and a couple of the family members, which are you, who let me know that yes, he was a gay man who outed a transgender man. Now, it's very sad, and like I always tried to tell you before, as far as living a positive message, you know, when I always said it's always somebody in your LGBT, I told you this before, so I hope you're not surprised because you know I'm not surprised. I told you many times when I went on the job interviews and I saw a gay person that was there, I knew once I walked at that location that I would not get that job and guess what? I didn't. When I went into a location where they didn't know what I was, I was called back. And this is the thing that I always try to talk about in reference to the LGBT. A lot of times we think that in a straight society is actually people who are actually walking with you, talking with you. They actually know your struggle, they actually know what you're going through. And instead of embracing you, and instead of pulling you forward to try to help your life, the life, 
a lot more easier, they figure why should they when they get out you. But at the same breath, they do not want this type of act they do not want this type of action to happen on them. Now which is really sad because when it comes down to transgender being murdered and stuff like and I do not mean every gay person. When there are a lot of um, transgenders that are murdered and stuff like that, um, I don't ever see a march around as far as, you know, my gay brothers. I'm gonna say, like I said before, I'm not saying everybody. But I don't see a bigger march around them as far as, you know, you put pushing on, you know, that another trans man or trans woman has been murdered can step back and man is like, Lord, listen, this is not right. You can't do this. However, I have noticed that a lot of gay guys and stuff will close their eyes to it and stuff that if you are not a performer. I noticed that it's not pushed hard, you know, well, she's that type of girl, but the simple fact of the matter is that she's trying to survive the best way she can. And as far as this trans man, he's out there doing the best he can as well. You know, so we need to do much more better before we talk about the straight society as far as being the LGBT. We need to learn how to accept people much more and try to embrace them and also try to make their life a lot more easier. You know, and that goes back to a couple of episodes, I'm not going to go into that. But there are people who put us inside of shows and stuff. They want to portray us as a certain thing. They do use the wrong dialect. When you're on the platform, you can actually teach people how to treat us. You know, but if, if the right dialogue is not there and this is not what you want to do, then this is what's going to happen. And the thing about it is that a lot of times they don't feel real. And even though he apologizes, I don't believe him. I really don't. I just feel as though he's trying to um, save face and that's all he's trying to do. And at the end of the day, I really don't think he could care less. I understand it's a game, but at the end of the game, what price are you willing to lose to do it? Is it actually another person who is in the LGBT? Are you willing to lose this man life for just some money? Gays and transgender workers lack comprehensive workplace protection under the state law current legal majority of the states. Now, these are the trans men that has been murdered as far as men. Now, this is a trans man that was murdered. His name was Demarcus Strawberry. He was killed in Louisiana. And a lot of times, many trans men different suffer for different violence and stuff. And here are a few of the trans men who have suffered through the system. Now, here is the guy, which is a trans name name. Key Peterson. He's 25 years old. He received a 20-year sentence for fighting back his rapist who tried to rape him. Now, they've been trying to do things as far as free Kai Peterson in reference to his life. Laverne Cox wanted to let Kai Peterson know that I'm aware of your story. Now, here's a story that's going the other way. Baina, 42 years old, was convicted of first-degree attempt assault and second-degree assault an attack which went on at BBQs in Dallas around 11 p.m. on a Tuesday. It was considered a hate crime because they said he said a lot of gay slurs and he was not supposed to be gay. And as he was convicted and stuff from Chelsea beating with the guys and stuff, he was found guilty and he is now serving time in prison as we speak. Nine years is a long time for a fight inside of a restaurant so if we do as far as the hate crimes why is it that a gay black student Taj Patterson 25 was savagely beaten by Hispanic men gets no jail time anyway with that being said I just want to share this story with you in reference to the update as far as Zeke Smith my brother which I love you and you stay strong and I wanted to share this story with you as far as him and his truth and I'll give Caitlin a thumbs up on this one because you jumped into the line of fire. I'm fortunate. I know a lot of girls and guys are not going to sign on because they don't see you yet. But you keep pushing down, Caitlin. Eventually, they may start seeing you as somebody, you know, that actually is trying their best to do it. You know, throw your six, seven years old. But anyway, with that being said, I just wanted to share this story with you and stuff. And I would love to hear your feedback on this. And I will let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Get the rain.